Hello and welcome back. It is time once again to try to rescue a broken piece of hardware. And today on the workbench we've got a PS4 Slim. Not sure of the exact model of it. But I bought it as a no power, supposedly dead. And I think they weren't they weren't lying this time. No power whatsoever. Eject doesn't beep. Power does nothing. Um, and it's still sealed. So that's a nice touch. Now what is this model? Uh, 2115B. So this should be a one terabyte model. So are we going to have a power supply issue or are we going to have a main board issue? Could be either one. Um, let's try power supply first. That's nice and easy. Let me get the covers off this and we'll get that supply out and maybe uh, swap another one in there. Well, the top cover is off and I am seeing some signs. See some of that corrosion. I suspect we're going to have a roach issue here. That's my suspicion. Haven't seen any bodies yet, but that just kind of looks like uh, some corrosion left behind from roaches. Let me get on into it. All right, bottom cover's off. And yes, we have some residents. So, yeah, I have a feeling that's going to be our, our main issue. They have probably wrecked this power supply. So, uh, let me blow this out a little bit before I have to handle it too much. And we'll get that supply swapped out and see if that uh, is 99% of our problem. Okay, this supply is out. It is a uh, uh, N16160P1A uh, that has the square pins, I believe. And here's my test one. I think it's working well now. Put that aside. Let's just see if this does us any good. Well, this has round pins. So, I thought the 160P1A's... Oh, I see the difference. This is an N16 that came out of there. This is an N15, and so that's not going to work. So, let's see. What do I have over here in my box of parts? I need one with round pins. Okay, one of these should do it. These both have round pins. Let's try this one. We'll hook, hook an HDMI up like we are uh, overly confident this is going to work. Well, let's see if I can get the monitor in the shot there. Let's see what happens. Power. Can't really see the there's the you see the light flashing on it. Okay, so we're coming up. So we have a power supply issue. Most likely killed by roaches. So we'll get this one in on the workbench and let's see if we can fix it. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the audio now because I've just broken my adapter to go into my uh, phone with to connect the three and a half millimeter jack from my microphone. So I'm going to be on the uh, uh, phone microphone for a while until I get another one of these adapters. So it is what it is. Um, let's get this thing open. And once again, 
I must say, if you're not familiar with working on, you know, electronics and line voltages, please do not open your power supply because there are dangerous voltages inside it. Yuck. Yeah, lots of uh, roach goodness there. Hey, there, I bet that's our offender right there. He looks a little crispy on his back end. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I think that's, yeah. Uh, this, this stuff's gonna need a good wash. Let me set it out of the way here. Oh, okay, you can kind of see right down in here where he blew up. Let me make sure everything's in the shot. I guess I could, I could zoom in, but if I do, I'm gonna end up cutting the uh, meter out of the picture. So what did we blow? Go to continuity mode here. Um. What did we blow? Did we blow the main line fuse? We did not blow the line fuse. Did we blow this fusible resistor right here? We did, okay. Yeah, these, this main fuse doesn't usually go. This one will go, if a roach walks past your console, this thing will blow. So, and that thing blew most likely because of a shorted MOSFET. This one here. All right, let me find a good, uh, well, I guess I can just go across. Let's just check right across here. Not shorted that way. Not shorted there. 340 ohms between these two points. I don't know if that's normal or not. Um, uh, what is that? Did we blow a trace open? Right here where this main burn area is. Looks like we may have blown a trace open. Let's see if I can get it up where we can get it in the picture. Right down in here, you can see that little shiny part right there. Hmm. Let me take a look at that under the microscope. All right, we are looking under the microscope now, and it, it does look like, you know, we have blown a trace. And I'm wondering what else we blew. That MOSFET did not seem shorted. And this trace that's blown right here, where's that going? Is that going? I wanna say this may be the uh, high voltage B plus that is coming from way over here. Really hard to see though. Let's just use a meter and see if it's uh, like, let me get on the uh, positive side of one of these capacitors. Although, let me check right quick. Like, that capacitor is probably charged up right now. I do not want to discharge it accidentally. Yeah, there's 167 volts uh, over here on this, on this capacitor. On... Uh, where are those two points? Mm -hmm. Right in there. Yeah, 167 across those two points. So I need to discharge that before I 
before it discharges into me. Okay, find my resistors here. There's probably still gonna be quite the pop here. I hate doing this. Okay. That's across um, a few ohms of resistance. It's not a dead short that's close to it. That is uh, six 15 ohm resistors paralleled. So anyway, now we're hopefully safe and won't get bit by this thing. I don't like putting a screwdriver across it. You can do that, but I don't want to do that. I don't like taking notches out of my screwdrivers. All right, now, uh, what I was going to do, I wanted to check and see if this is the B+. Plus. Like, the plus side of this capacitor right here, is that it down here? Well... Get back in the continuity mode. No, it's not directly. Uh, oh, you know what? Because it, it goes through that resistor right there. Make me a liar. Am I on the wrong side? Oh. Let me get my meter in the right mode. I don't need Siemens at the moment. Now. Okay, there it goes right there. That's where that capacitor, the um, 170 volts in standby mode, 167 is what it's charged up to, about 170 volts DC, is sitting right there, goes to this resistor here, then comes off the other side here, and I'm thinking goes right down there. Yes. So that is the main B plus, I would call it, um, which is about 170 volts DC in standby mode and, and 400 volts in, in full run mode where it's generating the plus 12. So, um, so we burn that resistor. And depending upon what we shorted to here, we may not have blown anything. You know what I'm saying? Like if it, if it shorted that to, to ground, it would just burn the, the fusistor open and that's it. But if it shorted to something that was, you know, not ground and not meant to handle 400 volts or whatever, then we, we could have some other damage. Let's, let's go back under the microscope and just take a look at what it would have, what it went to, because that's kind of important. Um, let me see. If I get my microscope, start recording. All right. What did we short to? We shorted to that point right there beside it. From here to here. Sorry, I gotta make sure everything's in the shot. I hate this lens adapter. I gotta get another one. It chops off so much of the... I, you, you don't see what I see, and it kind of it causes problems. Of course, you can see a nice little carbon trail there where it has arcs. So we gotta get all that out of there because that will be conductive. But this point here, what is this? This looks like a... Is that a choke? An inductor? BC. 801. BC 802. I'm wondering if they're going... If they're not at ground, if they're very, very close to ground. Look, it goes, goes through here and to here. And this point here, I see a diode. And I see a one-ohm resistor that, that, is it still good? Let me check it. 
Yeah, resistor is still good. Uh, what about this? What about this diode right here? It's not shorted. Because it does look like a rather healthy diode too. What is this right here though? All right, that. Both of these, I'm guessing, are inductors. And they are not opened. So, are we going to be lucky enough that it just blew that trace open and blew the fuse resistor? That would be quite fortunate. I'll, just, I'll be amazed if this MOSFET is not bad. Okay, let me fix this broken trace and we'll go from there and put another resistor in there. I'm still worried about that MOSFET. Repaired that broken trace right there and replaced this re resistor, fusible resistor right over here, 0.16 ohms. Um, I was just looking around at any other possible problems. Let's see if I can zoom in here well enough. And let's see. Okay, so right here is where that. You know, where our flashover occurred, our short. And I checked, of course, these two coils right here, and I checked this diode over here. And if I can show you. This is just in um, continuity mode. She's not shorted. She's good. But this one right beside it, 11.8 ohms. So, if I reverse my leads, 11.8 ohms. So, yeah, we've, we've got a shorted diode there. I'm going to have to see if I can get one of those off a donor over here. I don't think I've... That's not something that usually fails, so I don't have it on hand. So, let me see if I can find one, and we'll go from there. Well, I, I lifted that diode to check it. And let me just show you. Um, this is in diode mode. This is the one on the left, 0.51. And this one with it lifted on one end, 0.5, well, I'm slipping off of it there. 0.511, so it seems like the diode itself is good. If something in parallel with it, it's, it's giving that 11 ohms. And I'm not sure if that's normal, so I'm trying to find another board, something to compare to, to see if that, 
low, you know, parallel resistance is normal. Uh, I'm just not sure. Well, after some hunting around, I think I may have found our short. Um, this side, this is across a, uh, there's a transformer on the other side. And this is across a winding of the transformer. This is the low side, the common side or ground, and this is the output side. Goes through a coil here, goes on to something. That diode's good there. But this is this is the one we're interested in. Through here, into this diode. So what we end up with is an 11 ohm short to ground on this side of this diode. Now where does that go? It goes right up here. This is a capacitor filtering that supply, which I think is going to be like 13, 14 volts, the supply four let's follow it over here under this resistor right over here right over here and two pin six of our ld5760 now this is the uh ic that controls the five volt standby it actually generates drives the mosfet that generates the five volt standby and this pin pin six is its supply voltage uh and it I'm going to guess this chip has died. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift this right here. Lift that supply pin. And let's just see if our short is gone. Because that supply is used elsewhere, as best I can remember. But I think it's it's switched. So it doesn't, like, go directly. It'd have to be, it'd have to be up and running, I think, for the short to be someplace else. So I'm hoping it's right here. So I'm just going to try to lift this pin. Like so. Okay. Now, I'm in continuity mode. Uh, let's see. This is, this is ground right over here. This whole big bus you see here is ground. Now, we have... Nothing there. I'm open. Yeah, eight ohms to right there now. So our 5760 is dead. So maybe we're lucky. Replace that. Put our diode back down, which which appears to be just fine. Uh, if I measure it the right way. Yeah, it measures like 400 ohms, 300 and something. I think that diode is healthy. Uh, just replace that 5760, and I think we may be back in business.
right, I've done I've done the repairs. Um, did some cleanup, you know, while it was while I knew these capacitors were discharged. I went ahead and did some cleanup of some of the uh, roach residue. Uh, I've looked around for shorts on some of the common MOSFETs that go bad. I haven't found anything. So I think we're at the point of testing this supply. Let me get some uh, AC in here. It's not hot at the moment because I have to switch it off to the side here. And let's see. I think what I'll do is I'm going to bring it up kind of slow. So if we still have a short, maybe I won't blow something up. Let me get a ground right here and we'll get plus five right there. I'm going to start bringing the AC voltage up slowly. There we go. What is that? Uh, just below 80 volts in and we are making our standby supply. So I'm going to bring it on up to 120. 120 volts AC in, and that looks good. Now, I have my load hooked up also. Can we make 12 volts? And uh, let me get her across 12 volt supply. And if I jump her from five volt standby into the enable pin, Ah, uh, she came up and shut down, I believe. There it goes. 12 volts. Yeah. I just slipped off of it. I keep slipping off of it. All right, get a good grip. All right, 12 volts. Yeah. We're making 12 volts. Excellent. I think we have a working supply here. Let's, um, I still got to clean the case parts. They're, they're, they're nasty. But I'll get that cleaned up, and we will, um, uh, Put it back in the chassis and see if she works. But that looks promising. All right, we're back out in the garage. I've had it running out here for a while on my test supply. So let's just shut her down and let's just see if our uh, freshly repaired supply is going gonna, gonna to do the same thing. Um, I scrub the uh, case parts to get rid of the some of the roach smell because uh, if you don't clean them somewhat good, when they get nice and warm, that smell just comes flowing out of there. And no one wants that. All right, we're powered off. This thing's just, this chassis still gonna need a cleaning. Let's see if we got our main problem fixed here. Power. It worked on a load in the house, so there's no reason it shouldn't work here. Yep, I think we are powering on. There we go. Okay, I've got some more cleanup to do on this one. Clean this chassis and get rid of some of this uh, roach residue. So I think we've got a working unit here. And I hope that was uh, at least somewhat entertaining, uh, educational, or something. Uh, if it was, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next repair. So long for now.